Hello guys, I'm now in the public library of Concepcion. I'm here because I meet with a subscriber. He told me that he wanted to do a video with me because I was speaking English. So we will talk about what is speaking English. Hey guys, I'm speaking slow, yeah, slow and low volume because uh, we are in the public library. And you are Agustin, yep. Agus, 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 Agus. Agus, and he is a, a English speaker, maybe better than me because he also write in English <laughs> and he loved to do that and also he do translations but the curious thing about you is that you are not a teacher you are not studying English you have 17 years old actually I'm 17 years old and when <laughs> I was uh, not that and a half because I'm my birthday is in November so you're a scorpion Yep, I am. <laughs> so what we can say is that um, I started English, um, learning English in 2008 when I was just a tiny six-year-old boy. And over the years, uh, then I moved up north in Calabar, and there most of the people know um, English because there are many people, uh, foreigners, um, I went to San Pedro de Atacama. So you speak in, in, in like in England? Yeah, I have a British accent. Although I we can't. Uh, so we can't speak like this. So we can't <laughs> oh, totally kind of speak like this. Well, what we can say is that, um, <laughs> as an example, people from, from New Zealand speak like with the nasal voice. Um, you speak really good. Are you embarrassing from me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, in shame in this. <laughs> yeah, um, first of all, we can understand of each other and also we can complement each I'm other. I'm a better listener. I'm not so good speaker. But yeah. <laughs> I, I, I learn. Um, but, um, it's very relaxing to hear hearing people speaking like this because Americans maybe sometimes I, in conversations you can't understand any shit they are talking because they use a lot of. Modism? Is well, that the actually, word? No, uh, modism yeah. it isn't. We in English we talk about it um, idiomatic expressions. Idiomatic expressions. Yeah, and idiomatic expressions are what we know in Spanish as modismos. Modismos. <laughs> and, I invented uh, a word in yeah. here. Yeah, neologism. Mm -hmm. I learned English um, watching movies, mm -hmm. using music, playing games that are in English, now translated. Mm -hmm. So, um, in school, in here in Chile, you think that um, the level is, you, you can go out of the school, of the secondary school, speaking English? Depends a lot, Depends. because uh, when I was up north, um, English was like, uh, you have to have this, otherwise you have failed in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so in, um, in, the north, in, in the north of Chile, if you don't speak English, you are, are fucked up. Yeah. Oh my god. That is a fact. Um, um, you can find um, that everyone, I mean everyone, even those weird uh, Peruvian and Bolivian guys uh, do speak a little bit of English. <laughs> and they speak better than us? No. No. <laughs> Actually, what we can say is that because um, the Chilean accent is very, very flat, uh, unlike, uh, as an example, let's say, Argentinians, we can emulate a lot better uh, different accents. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, and that's an advantage we have uh, over some of the um, 
some of the other, the other countries. So we have a <coughs> linguistic flexibility, something like that? Just in pronunciation, because uh, us Chileans speak um, terribly. <laughs> <laughs> we speak Spanish terribly. No, we don't speak Spanish, we speak Chilean. We speak <laughs> Chilean. <laughs> Chilean. <laughs> Chilean. Chilean. Um, it's difficult to find someone when to practice. Actually, it is. Um, That's why we invited this other guy that's coming <coughs> in a few minutes. And he is part of a group of people that meet every week, maybe. And they speak, no, just English. They speak Italian, they speak Portuguese, and they speak, ah, what are they? Uh, Dutch, French. Um, and so you can you can go into these meetings and if you want to learn it, one of the same uh, idioms, languages, languages, languages idioms are the whole construction of <laughs> the communication. Yeah, but it's fun because uh, but as we talk, it's difficult. It's very it's very hard to find people to practice the English. Yeah, actually, practice sometimes good. you have to. Or you need to pay. You need to pay. Well, otherwise, yeah, you have to pay, or you can use um, this awesome device that can get us over everything. I mean, you can just go ahead and find an app, and then boom, you are talking to other people. Uh, yeah. But we can. I use this. Oh, yeah, Google Translator. Google Translator. No, um, it helped me. <laughs> it's my friend. <laughs> For the videos, it's, it's friend. my best, very best, best friend. friend. Actually, your best friend would be word reference, as it's word much reference better. is better. Yeah. It's much better. And than, you have an app too. Yeah, they also have an app. And it's free too. <laughs> In, uh, so why it's all better? Of our, all of our, okay, so our now we are recommending apps. This is a public library, but it's very low. <laughs> It's I noticed. <laughs> a, a lot. And in our video, I told you that the central library of the University of Concepcion, it has the same problem. People in here make a lot of noise. The Chilean spirit, we are very loud when we not, don't need to be, and when we need to be loud, we don't make and any noise. And in the Congress, in important meetings in something like um, I don't know we, we are here in, in a place we're shy <laughs> when we don't have to be shy that's the stuff <laughs> you're shy uh, kind of yeah you're single yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the younger me was very shy <laughs> so I, I don't want to make videos and now I'm making videos because the shy part of my life is like, yeah. 100 kilometers away. away. Yeah. yeah. Some people say I have an, an old soul. So an old soul, yeah. So maybe. Ah, the other guy is calling me. Introduce yourself, my dude. Um, You're a new guy. <laughs> recording. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we are recording. Yeah. Okay. We're recording, but yeah, we can cut some parts okay. of the video. <laughs> Thanks. Don't, don't worry. So my name is Rodrigo. Hey, Rodrigo. Hello there. Um, <laughs> I'm 25 years old, and yeah, I, I find um, very interesting what you what you were reading and saying about English in what all is? the aspects. What is in English for you? Yeah, yeah. I, I like your accent. You you have a particular accent, and I like it. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, it's very relaxing. Yeah, it's really relaxing. <laughs> it's like you. really a uh, European <laughs> accent, yeah. like you know, British. from the un British, British, from the United Kingdom. We, we mentioned that you are part of this group of people that meet and talk. Yeah. In different languages, not just um, English. Yeah, um, I am a that. part of a group uh, that is called uh, Cosmopolitas. Cosmopolitas. Yeah, it, it was a group that was created in 2011 uh, under the name of un, under another name. It was Polilotas Inglés, I think. 
And since then, uh, we have been changing uh, the admins, right? the administrators. We have been changing them per year or a little bit more, maybe. Uh, since this year, I became the new administrator. You have Pre the power. Yeah, now I have. <laughs> the main idea is to practice. It's to practice in a very relaxed calm context. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the same to go to an institute or to go to classes, to private classes or go online to learn and practice a, a language but it, it, that if you compare it to going to bars, to restaurants, to open meetings outdoors and to meet with unknown people, it's more relaxing, it's more relaxed. Mm -hmm. The English institutes want to emulate that because yeah. they have this group, this yeah, group of conversation yeah. and things. So, <laughs> so yeah, and we do it for uh, free. So it isn't focused on learning, or yeah, but uh, we try to guide everyone to to the learning process as they they have to do it by their self, mm -hmm. by themselves, like. Uh, if I want to improve a language, uh, I have to make sure that I do my own job, my, my yeah, own work. Have to, uh, yeah, I, I have to be the one who has to be constantly looking for information, mm -hmm. asking questions, uh, asking for help. Yeah. But what we do mainly is to help you to practice. Mm. Like if you want to talk about anything, like really anything, uh, we are there and you can have a drink with us, you can have a meal. Where do you go to find information about the, the group? In the uh, you Instagram can account? find, uh, yeah, you can find us on Facebook. On Facebook we have two platforms, uh, we have a page mm -hmm. under the name, it's everything under the same name, Cosmopolitos. So in, on Facebook we have a, a page and a private group. So a private group group is for people that already go to meetings. And no, no, no. A private group. I mean, it's a group on Facebook that is private. So you have to ask to join, and I will. I, I basically accept everyone. <laughs> on I unless I see something that I will like, like I don't know, some homophobic um, comments or or really nazi comments or <laughs> things like that. Yeah, if I see something like that before accepting you, I, I would not accept you <laughs> on, on the group. But yeah, I, I mainly accept everyone. So, what do you think? We can go to a meeting I with these guys. I think would be awesome. It would be yeah. like the... You're yeah. more than welcome. To this. Uh, it's, that is part of this video. We're going to go to the next yeah, cool. And we're gonna make yeah. a so video. I'm gonna try to um, a question. You try to introduce um, new people of, of members of the group into the culture of the city, like going to um, iconic places um, and try to tell him this, tell him the story of, of the city. Okay, I have done that uh, myself, not as a part of the group. I have been doing this. The objective of the group is just the meeting and yeah. practice the English. Exactly. I have been doing this on my own. Like, if I connect with someone from the group or from abroad, and it turns out that they don't know the city very well, uh, I can. I have been showing them around, like going to museums, uh, going to iconic places, historical places. I have done that. In the future, I think uh, we should be doing this as a group. Nice. But uh, it all depends here in Concepcion. It all depends on the weather. Yeah, like it's really tropical. So you one day you don't know if it's gonna be raining <laughs> or sunny or windy. So yeah, yeah. we should yeah, wait yeah. a little bit. We are weird. Well, I think we should uh, say that our mother tongues are. Spanish. It's not English, it's Spanish. Sí. Spanish. Yeah, for all of us. Podemos comprobarlo con diciendo una chucha. Sí, la verdad, una chucha. podemos decir que. Una chucha. Una chucha. ¿Te puedo decir una chucha? Una chucha. Ah, ya, tu chucha favorita. Ya, mira esa boca de tu madre, te voy a decir. No, que no, te tenés no. que ir a la chucha y que te odio. Ok. That's yeah. enough. Ok. <laughs> enough.
eh, mi, mi YouTube chat favorita es Ándate a la rechucha. Hice un, un cómic, de, 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 un sticker con eso. ¿Cuál es la tuya? Chucha. 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 <risa> Yo chucha. creo que chucha. Sí. Chucha, ya probamos que somos chilenos. Sí. Now, way back in the English. I have to say that I'm not a fan of saying bad words, but yeah. Yeah, I, I am a supporter. Like, Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes yeah. not. Well, I'm not a big fan of it either. It depends on the context. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally, totally. Yeah. And this yeah. is a weird context thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's weird. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. What to ask? Because I, I feel in that I ask all the things I had in my mind. I don't know. Maybe we could talk about uh, how people try to learn languages. Yeah, uh, or, how, how do you learn? How do you learn? Uh, I learned because of my oh. mom. Um, she was uh, a really enthusiastic about learning languages by herself. Uh, she learned uh, English when she was young uh, at school. Um, she also learned the basics of French. Um, so she couldn't go to the university because of the times uh, it, was, it was very difficult yeah, it was under the dictating of being a chat so she had she was struggling with things so she couldn't go or make it to the university and when i was born uh, she was constantly trying to introduce you introduce to me to the la to certain languages mm -hmm. uh, through music through um, books like kids beach and things like that and when I went to school and I first had my first ever English lesson like proper I fell in love with language mm -hmm. because I noticed that I had been doing that from before like I, I recognized a lot of words and it was easier to, for me uh, so uh, I fell in love I think I fell in love with the language Since then, I uh, have been trying. Maybe before you born. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother maybe. talked to you. Maybe. Like, oh, my baby, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so since then, I have been trying to learn by myself uh, through books, uh, movies, songs, uh, online courses. If you, if people want to learn something, there's a lot of tools that they can use. Like. Mm -hmm. There, you can go online and you can find a lot of things that are for free. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are not that long. Like we were talking uh, about the apps you use. Yeah, sometime. actually, actually, I have to show you that I downloaded just yesterday because I was thinking about learning Italian. And I le downloaded uh, two apps, Learn It and Molto Bene. Molto bene. Molto bene. Molto bene. Yeah, so those are apps uh, for learning Italian. You, you can use, uh, if you're starting, uh, I don't know, you can use it to play, no yeah. more than that. Yeah. Just play, uh, you can use Duolingo, because it's really basic. It's really basic. Sometimes uh, the grammar, it isn't that good. Yeah. It makes mistakes, but <laughs> still, for fun, you can use uh, Duolingo. Uh, My mother uses it. Yeah. In terms of English, uh, I would suggest, uh, as a plus, uh, as an adding to word reference, uh, I would suggest, um, what was that, um, the, shit, I forgot the word. Um, <laughs> Okay, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Oxford. Okay, yeah, the Oxford, Oxford. dictionary. Yeah, Oxford. the Oxford so. dictionary because uh, it's in English, mm -hmm. so you can look for a word and the description of the word is gonna be in English, yep. and you can get more vocabulary using that, and you can get an idea of what the word means, but in English. And how to explain what oh, it's uh, yeah, how to explain it, but in English. Looking for. Yeah, it's really uh, does, it, um, does it has happen to you that you are speaking in Spanish and sometimes you forget a word in Spanish? Or like, uh, as an example, it's like, uh, what it's, uh, how do I say worth it in Spanish? Yeah, like, and you came uh, up with a word in the other language yeah, that you're your learning or you're language. not. Yeah. Yeah. And there is these words that it only exists in English. Yeah, yeah. as an example, uh, you might even have one. Which is like this one. Um, it's this one. It's uh, curate. 
This Hooray. is a Welsh word uh, which um, it's kind of defined as homesickness, although it uh, has uh, some other stuff like um, it has um, a more complete um, meaning about homesickness because it also encourages the nostalgia, the yearning, the feeling lost about something. Um, if you want to, can even read this if you like it. Okay. So, um, better defined as homesickness for a home to which you cannot return, a home which maybe never was. The nostalgia, the yearning, the grief for the places of your past. It can also include grief of sadness for who or what you have lost. Losses which make your home not the same as the one you remember. An attempt to describe here in English is a longing for the <clears throat> to be where your spirit lives, which is directly related to the feeling of to the feeling mentioned before. And I don't understand my own handwriting because I need it. <laughs> it can be attached to a physical place or not. Very often, a place you can only return by revisiting old memories. Could be neither of the above, from which you are not only separated by time, but instead a place that never was, which is only available in your subconscious imagination or even your dreams. Welsh people, and people in general, use here as a deeper description of nostalgia, and better often used to complement the name of Wales, as its name, the place of others. Even to the point they refer to the land as Hremre, which is a more medieval meaning. Dude, I thought about a man looking at the sea. That's most of the people yeah, think about thinking about it. <laughs> an old man in black and white. <laughs> in Wales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, very deep, man. Yep. You have uh, some talent in there and you need to, I don't know, follow, I, I insist, you need to follow that way I, in, 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 your, in your life. I, I don't know if um, like uh, making some kind of, not just tra translations. Yeah, yeah, I can do something better than just translations. Maybe using something like this and uh, making reviews. Yeah, yeah making reviews. Making it's review. It's I, okay. I, I, Let's I do like a review about, about my uh, iPhone 6. I, it's I, a piece I of like, shit. I would like to hear your voice. Like, I'm just you know, laying in my bed and with my phones on. And hearing your voice. <laughs> Very relaxing. It may Very be relaxing. With, with something like this, with, which made your voice better mm -hmm. than it is, or maybe not. Um, it's cool, man. So I, I thought that this is a good moment to say goodbye to this yeah. video because it's already too long. I had to mm -hmm. make a lot of cuts. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we have this compromise. We are going to a yeah, you have meeting. to go to a meeting. We are yeah. going, yeah, going to a meeting. I'm going to part. try to think about yeah. uh, the best option. Mm -hmm. Do you have where fun? to go? Do you have fun and show yeah. people that uh, people that learn that speak English like me that's not the best of all and like you that you are an autodidactic learner? Mm, not oh. that much. Um, no. Actually, I learned over high uh, school because if I was, uh, as I said before, I was like mandated to do it. <laughs> uh, so, well, yeah, he was forced <laughs> to learn <laughs> <laughs> English. I to learn but it. I do have to say that in, in the meetings or in, basically in the group, uh, we don't ask for a certain level of language. That's the stuff. We don't ask for any kind of level. Uh, we only ask for people to be uh, conscious about their own uh, capa capacity, <laughs> capacity of learning. Um, yeah, you, you don't need a certain la uh, level. Mm -hmm. We we can help you. You just That's very good. need uh, the, the willing to to develop. Mm -hmm. <laughs>